The search for total knowledge starts from the self and finds fulfillment in coming back to the self, finding that everything is the expression of the self, everything is the expression of my own self, Maharshi. Maharshi Vedic University, Ukraine. When in summer 93, Maharshi asked Purusha and Mother Divine to establish Maharshi Vedic University in Crimea with at least 1,000 yogic flyers in order to maintain peace in the country, we had to face a lot of challenges. No place, no money, and difficult circumstances in the newly formed country. But we had a lot of enthusiasm and creativity and we met much openness to Maharshi's knowledge. In just a few months, we created out of nothing a university with about 500 students. Since then, MVU Crimea has been the biggest coherence creating group in Europe living together on campus, focused on creating coherence and growing in enlightenment. We would like to give you a taste of our university by showing you some fragments of our daily life here. Who are our students? What are they doing? And how are they living? We are happy to share with you in these next few minutes the joy and warmth which our students are radiating wherever our university is. The winter we had this year was a real Russian winter with plenty of snow and temperatures below minus 20 degrees during the day while during the night they went down to minus 35. Winter started in October and lasted nearly until May. It was not only a very long and cold but also a very beautiful winter. There was hardly a cloudy day. Most of the time we had a crystal clear sky with a radiant sun, which was reflected everywhere, on the snowy landscape, on floating crystals in the air, and on trees overloaded with snow. We were all enjoying this winter, and even the cold was not disturbing our winter joy. In November 95, MVU Crimea moved to the region of Lvov in the northwest of Ukraine which is geographically just in the middle of Europe and therefore an ideal place for a coherence creating group for the whole of Europe. We are in a rented pensionat in one of the most beautiful and popular health resort areas of Ukraine with spring waters and extremely beautiful and unspoiled nature. Here we are gathering for a group photo which we sent as a thank you to our MVU sponsors all over Europe. Banners were prepared in different languages, expressing our gratitude for all the support we have been receiving from different countries. The signs were painted in the ladies' flying room by our TTC student Oksana. As you can see, at this time we had only cotton mattresses in our flying rooms. All MVU students have some practical activity two hours per day to develop and express their creativity and earn some credit for their course fee. Natasha from Art Workshop is making postcards out of different materials. She's creatively using little pieces of fabrics, foil and paper to make beautiful postcards. Svetlana had never painted before in her life, but just in few months she became our best painter. Her beautiful and very refined miniatures painted on silk are selling really well in the West. Like Svetlana, also many other students discovered their hidden skills and talents they had never even thought of before studying at MVU. Another group is sewing cute toys for children. 
Some of the patterns and fabrics for them have come from Great Britain and Ireland. Students have a lot of fun making these toys and all of us at MVU are enjoying their beautiful products. Some of them we liked so much that we just kept them for ourselves. Our computer department is a very busy one. Students are typing information sheets, invitation letters and all other material which our university needs. Our computers were donated from England and from France. Even though they are quite old and simple, they are very useful for the MVU translation team which is translating Maharshi's tapes and TM literature into Russian to make available Maharshi's precious knowledge to all countries of the former Soviet Union. One of our workshops is a wood sculpture group who are producing beautiful handmade crafts, putting a lot of love and attention into every single item. For some items, they are using special juniper wood, which has a distinctive and pleasant fragrance and is traditionally considered to have very good healing properties. A very nice way to express creativity is music. Our music workshop has already produced two audio cassettes. All songs on the video you are watching now are performed by our students' music group, who also composed most of them. Students are also taking care of our cars. The blue van, a donation from Germany, is a mobile advertisement for our MVU and the other Maharsh universities of management in Ukraine with all the telephone numbers. The yellow Mercedes was also donated from Germany and is very much needed for buying food. Since our university needs almost one ton of food items every day, this car is really indispensable. A lot of help is needed in the kitchen for cutting vegetables, preparing food and cooking. Students are working in morning, afternoon and evening shifts, preparing delicious meals every day. Even though the ingredients we can find here in Ukraine are limited, the creativity of our cooks is unlimited. Our Indian cooks, with their great knowledge and skills of vegetarian cooking, give our menus international flavor. With so many students, birthday cakes have to be prepared almost every day. And of course, we also have many cakes at our traditional seasonal festivals, when we gather with other guests from a harsh universities of management in Ukraine, like one big happy family. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.